Hello, my lovely spectators. Uh, Dee Dee here with some stuff from Timu. And um, I decided to put the receipt out so you can see that this has been like a crazy, crazy haul. Um, and I'm hoping that this is all the pages because, uh, yeah, I started to do the unboxing and uh, unbagging from my Timu. It's been a minute since I've had a video out. And I got to this one and I was like, what the hell is this? So I had to go back to my order. So I figured, let me stop. Let me get myself together. And let me give you some extra information this time. So I've got my orders here in no particular order. My orders in no particular order. Not everything on these pages has come through. But I did want to show you what I had gotten. And be able to kind of tell you the prices. So the first thing that I had started off with was these two little cases. I actually ordered three of them. So there's probably another one somewhere in this bag. The bag is like pretty decent size. Let's see if I can just feel around and get it out of our way. But yeah, that's not happening. Oh, wait, here it goes. All right, so three of these. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got three of these. They hold 56 um containers they had two different versions the 28 which is about half the size and the 56 i decided to go for the 56 and they have these little four components pretty decent size with the, my thumb and um to hold all the gems and stuff i can use them for my uh crafting bits and pieces but mostly probably for my nails and this item that i purchased when I bought it was $14.21, no, $14.12, so $14.12 for these guys, okay? The next item that I had pulled out before I got stuck was this crazy ear cuff thing. I, um, I've had some other videos. I don't know if I've put any videos up with my hair when I did like the faux hawk, but it's growing out, but I still want a little weirdness to myself because, you know, why not? You turn a certain age and you say, hey, who cares? Whatever. I'll wear it, I please. And this might be like a little fun um, item. And this cost me um, $2.48. So this was the uh, exaggerated punk turkey feather ear design ear wrap. Retro Bohemian. So just a little funky gag gift to myself or gag hair piece um i'm not sure if it's for the left or the right so it looks to be like there might be another design on the other side but we're not gonna get into that this is what stopped me in my tracks and i was like wait a minute what is this so i had to stop stop my phone because i recorded my phone and my receipts are on my phone and i did find this this cost me 348 now what is it that cost me 348 it is the um, acrylic nail stamper mixed pattern. So basically, I guess my idea was either into poly gel or hard gel. Um, poly gel, you know, like those thick um, solid gel thingies for the nails that you can stamp. So you have little shapes on the ends. So when you're doing your acrylic and you have it and it's still wet, you can kind of stamp it into your finger, get an impression of the so you have an emboss whereas you have also the other items that um, we use to make uh, molds where you can make the item and it's three dimensional and you put it on this was interesting so I thought that might be interesting to have so in my nail journey I purchased that okay now we can go back to the bag because everything is what we know what everything is okay so let's see here all right this guy here is a brush that I purchased um, for the uh, table and the areas where I craft. One piece multifunctional cleaning brush, hand grip vacuum cleaner, um, household bed sheet, sofa hair removal. Okay, so it's a hand grip vacuum. So it's not a vacuum. It's, you know, we just, and you can get all the stuff goes in. I'm assuming that there's a way to open it up. It cost me $3.97. So, yeah, it just opens like this. It'll collect debris, I guess, in here. I'm gonna see how it works when I'm crafting, or maybe just to have it around the house to clean up, 
different things. Maybe when I'm doing my nails with the debris that may come around, that may be working out. So, um, yeah, let me just put it aside because it doesn't waste a lot. All right, back to the bag. Ooh, okay. Oh, all right, I got myself a uh, gun, a glue gun. Let me see how much, why did I buy this glue gun? I have so many glue guns. There has to have been thing, something. Oh, one piece, a 40 watt large hot glue gun, hot melt, works with 10 millimeter. Oh, maybe because of the 10 millimeter. <coughs> oh yeah, this is one of those big wide ones, which I don't have, and they tend to be expensive. So, <clears throat> you know how you get the ones from the dollar store, sometimes they have the big fat ones. This is to hold the big fat ones so that you can have some more glue going on. Um, it's a nice size, good grip for my hand. Um, I wouldn't say precision tip, but it does have a little bit of a silicone. So just a tippy tip, so you could stabilize yourself. Yeah, not bad. What did I say? $4.50, $4.49, $4.49. So that's another, that's a crafty item. That should be, uh, cataloging, like, what did I buy that's crafty? What did I buy that's, you know, not crafty, that's nail related, blah, blah, blah. Just to see what my trends are but yeah that's another time not right now oh we got three things in here okay so i purchased some of these only because i'm extra these are black sticky notes <clears throat> uh 200 300 sheets four pack six packs so i purchased the six pack and it was probably more expensive than I needed to be. Almost $5, $4.98. So this is one. I purchased another one. I have a lot of metallics. <coughs> and metallic pens, etc., etc. I really like pens. <coughs> Excuse me. So sorry. And so I thought this would be a cute little thing just for my personal notes to have a black sticky note. I'm opening only because I want to feel the stickiness. I, mean, I know I'm going to sniff it now. <sighs> Smells like plastic, whatever. Um, yeah, the sticking, we shall see, we shall see. Um, yeah, so there's probably another one somewhere in there. I mean, there is, there should be. I ordered two of these. So I'm not going to see if I can find it right away. Uh, no. Okay, let's move it on. Here we have a pair of earrings. I love the Timo earrings because they are super inexpensive. Um, I'm luckily one of these people who does not get agitated from not wearing gold or silver. So I like to look for quirky designs. This almost gives me like a lock, like a master lock vibe. So I thought I would get those. Those are cute. Um, probably no more than a dollar, dollar fifty. Hold up, I'm just putting them together. And <clears throat> let me see if I can find those real quick. Now, I usually buy the um, holders as well. So I want to, um, somebody wanted me to show them. I think I'll try to do a video, an organization video of all the jewelry that I've purchased from Timu because I do have quite a bit and it is kind of getting out of hand. So where is these guys? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's give them all. I'm sorry, I'm clearing my throat, but yeah, I don't know. I got that kind of like wake up in the morning, even though it's the middle of the afternoon kind of vibe. Um, wow, I can't find it. See, this kind of thing is what's going to irritate me because this is going to irritate you guys because it's going to take a while to find what I'm looking for, and that's not good. All right, it's not on. I don't see it on here. Okay, so this is the mystery price of this mystery item because I do not find it in my sheets. Unless I'm completely going blind from old age. <laughs> uh, one more quick go through. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, this is like wackadoo. Okay, I can't find it. Alright, these. Oh, so let's hear. Let's see how this works out. <clears throat> Let's open one of these and we can put any charms we get. Ooh. Because these bags can get very unruly. <clears throat> and I'm not going to worry about. Oh, there's another page over here. Duh. 
yeah those were 89 cents found another sheet of set of pages okay 89 cents for those earrings these guys are little bees they're black and white bees the little charms okay again trying to get into the nail game just for myself as another creative outlet and look at these guys aren't they so cute they're little bees um I know I got a several different little critters here. So all of these will go into one. And they fit nicely with room to spare. So that's cool. <coughs> Man, that's going to really bother me. Um, <clears throat> uh, what was mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow, guys. I do not see them. Oh, 10 pieces of bees for 167. I'm gonna just leave this open right here <coughs> and grab another. Oh, this is okay. So I think I'm gonna leave this one in the package. This is to um, use during crafting. We often have glue that we're using <coughs> and the tips. Now, this is to clear the tip out, you shove it into the glue thing. Um, it comes with all these other pieces, but this is not the style that I have. I really just got it for this. So this is going with my glue in case it gets all jammed up. <clears throat> and this item, which, um, again, I wonder what bottles this is for, but hey, um, I thought I'm really kind of for what I wanted, which was that pokey part. This was a dollar. Oh, and it's made for eye, eyelash glue, but it was a dollar, so, but I'm using it for my crafting glue containers. So, not bad, a dollar. <clears throat> and again, this is what I'm looking for, the picture, it's like, because it's one of those things where, like, oh, all, um, random colors. So, <clears throat> this is an armrest for a friend of mine, for Cars Beige, and she was noticing the one I had. I'm not gonna open it I'm just gonna show it to you real quick right here and put it to the side to take it to her tomorrow so when you have the car and you have that rest armrest in the middle just to for some protection of like staining or whatever the case is you put that and it's also a little padded so hmm how much was that how much was that so now this is like making me wonder Tell me in the comments now that you, if you're watching my video, thank you for being here. But um, would you prefer that I just get all the prices on the items before I start the video, or is this crazy up annoying you? Because right now I'm just talking about the process. Maybe in another video I will just yammer about other things. But right now, this is what's going on. Ha! She's blah blah. Okay, again, don't know why I'm not finding it. So, I think we'll move on from there. Uh, okay. Oh, this. I bought these. These are a collection of bags. I'm just going to take one out. They're like this. <clears throat> I thought for, maybe for Christmas, for little gifts, you put the tissue paper. They're, they're okay quality. They're, they're relatively thin. Um, you can more or less judge the size of by the hand right here. I got a set of these. I think they're supposed to be 10, maybe 12 of these in here. And they have the little snap so that I could, you know, give some goodie bags over the holiday season for people. And then it's maybe a bag that they could reuse, you know, at another point in time. We'll see if that's going to work out like that. Where the hell are these bags? Why am I having such a hard time? This is turning into an epic fail. Um, these were 20. 20 of these bags were 12.67. So, meh, 20 bags for 12.67. It's not the cheapest, but it is what it is. So 12.67 for 20 of these guys. And um, they are a flat bottom, so they're you know gonna be able to stand. Okay, not bad. Okay. 20 for 12.67. You know, it's still bothering me that I haven't found the other thing, right? For, um, for the thing, for the, um, 
the car thing. <laughs> I'm gonna start pulling out big stuff. Okay. All right. So this is holographic paper. I and it has a, a number of different um, designs. You've got this. Um, I don't know what it's called. Reflective. Then you have some star based. And then on this side you have just iridescent into dots. So I purchased this because I believe this is transparent. I was thinking of trying to make some stickers. Um, I have a cameo, I have a cricket, I have a lot of ideas and I was thinking that it would be fun to make some stickers and to jazz them up by having this on top. So this is clear, so whatever's underneath it is going to pick up that iridescent. So, um, I think this, it might have been around 10. Let me see if I can um, find this guy quick, because I think that's something that maybe some of you might be interested in. Oh, I found the uh, armrest, which was $3.98. Oh, see, when you're not looking for things, that's when you find them. <clears throat> Um, the holographic sticker paper was eight forty eight. All right, so not bad. Oh, these two I bought for. There should be another one here. Come on, why can't you be just right there? Oh, all right. Well, I bought one in white, and I bought one in black because, you know, if you're gonna do the nail stuff, right? You're gonna want to do the nail game. You're gonna want to have your little place to place your hands and make it look all pretty to take your pictures isn't that cute that's so nice it's kind of fluffy it really needs like a full-on puffing up and like a shake through and a shake out so that that way it's uh looks a little bit neater it's uh 3.98 the black one that i'll find soon was 480 448 so a little bit of an investment something that i would roll up like this and put in a drawer put it away with the nail stuff um it needs to just be fluffed out so that's for the nail products my nail game right so to say oh here's the black one i don't know it's the same size it's just weird how sometimes things are the same size and then they wind up being like different prices so <clears throat> oh so the black one, right there, I guess whatever the still, if you're going to do nails or whatever the case is, for the photos, um, it's cute. I don't like that you could see this, but again, once you fluff this out and give it a good brush through, which I'm going to do to get rid of all the leftover, but it's the same size as the white one, but yet the same size um, and different prices. I don't know. What do you like? The black one? The white one? The black one? I like the sheen, but once you fluff it out, does it still have that? No. So I have two two little mini rugs. They're mini rugs. Um, or chair rugs or something like that they called them. Let's see here. Was it again they called them? Uh, yeah. They're chair covers, except that they are just to like lay on the chair. It's not like they're actually covering anything of the chair. So that's interesting. Alright, um, I saw some shoes in there of, that were $11.99, and I'm going to take them out. I've purchased Timo shoes before, and they've worked out fine. I've purchased two others, and I don't really have anything that's color. And funny enough, I bought these because I have a certain dress that I wanted to wear with this, and then I wound up trying to wear the dress, and it did not fit me properly. So, I'm hoping that these are going to be okay. My feet tends to be a little bit wide, but I like this. Simple design, very lightweight, very flexible. Um, I purchased them in a 43. They were supposed to be, that's supposed to be like a size 10 in women's. The other ones were also a 43. So, let's hope for the best. But there you go, 12 bucks. Not bad. Okay. Okay, I bought this to put in um, my plants. So what it is is that we have a lot of plants, high, low, everywhere, and to feed them their water, if that makes sense. To give them the water, we often have to stretch a little bit or whatever, try to get it in there. So I got um, a nine piece 
set. I got two of these. Each one was $3.77. So this was because when you put them into the plant pot, it gives you a little space, a, a little bit more length or reach from the pot to be able to pour your water to feed the pot. So if you put it in the pot like this, and then you can pour the water and it'll go into there. So you don't necessarily have to get all the way into where the pot is. It's cute. Yeah. I'm, I wonder if they would work outside to collect rainwater. That might be something too. I bought two of them. So I'm going to have 18. So I can try that out. Okay. What else do we have here? All right. So these are a pair of duo. F this is not a pair. It's, um, they're, they're not, are they dual? No, they're not dual forms. These are nail tips. Okay. And from what I was looking at, I think it was something that had to do with how, let's see, they had, they, they have a texture, they have a diamond texture. So their nail would have this texture once you applied them. I thought that that was like so cool. Like you could um, definitely put um, some color under it under the, the, the base where your nail bed, it, bed is and then glitterify that. I don't know, but I thought it was intriguing. So I decided to get them. That's a pretty good sizing too. Well, maybe it's a little short, but you get the idea. So I bought these. I thought that they were different. Um, might as well be different if I'm going to do my nails. Um, that set for nails. Um, big nails. I don't know if that's them because I have a couple of nail things in here. Appreciate 3D Crystal Falls. Yeah, $2.39. They do feel rather bridged. They are like plastic plastic, so they are definitely going to um, probably... Oh, found the other ones. Probably going to be um, hard to... Uh, easy to break. You have to be very careful, very gentle. This is a uh, dot, diamond dot uh, picture. I actually got two of them. They were both 210 to 11. This is one um, that I was thinking for a friend of mine. I don't think she'll have the patience. I might have to do them. So this is the other one. And um, yeah, so they're kind of small. They're not that big. Um, I think it's supposed to be eight inches by eight inches, which is big enough. Um, I haven't really gotten into the whole diamond dot. I've bought quite a few of these, but just haven't gotten around to do them. So all the in stuff is inside, which is the gems and also the um, tool, I believe, the tools and stuff. So let's look. So you take off this. That's everything that you need. It's in there. All the beads. And the wax to help pick you them up. And there's a texture and a stickiness on this actual thing. So you have all the letters that in indicate the color that you put. So, I don't know. I think I might want to... I don't know. Should I do one of these on video? Um, but then I'd have to like speed up. Because this is going to take more than an hour. Okay. Oh, I got some lint-free wipes, lint-free nail wipes, because, because, because of the wonderful things. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so they're like this. There's another type that's out there that looks like it has like, um, like a bounty, like it has that like texture to it. And then there's these. I feel like those still somewhat have something going on that's kind of lint so i saw these so i figured i want to try and do a comparison so this is 325 wipes so i have that for some nail stuff those 325 wipes cost um 2.98 and honestly i don't know if that's good or if that's bad here's a mixed set of things charms that we've got here i think it was a black set so there's a few different things in here there's some blue roses dots bows some butterflies there's these little round crystals the bows have what the hell is that 
Oh, they say Chanel. Oh, okay, excuse me. A heart. So it's a variety pack of black charms for the nails. And I would put this in here, but my OCD is probably um, going to want to separate them into individual things so that they match. So all the butterflies in one, all of the um, hearts in another, etc. Like that because, yeah, that's going to bother me if they are all in the same place. Okay, that set that has that variety is, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, 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 Black mixed bow is 134. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It said blacks, uh, res resin, glitter, mini, white, black, and rose, nail art, flat back, rhinestones, DIY wedding. Is that them? Oh, no, no. <coughs> My bad. <coughs> That's another one that I have. 3D nail art, jewelry, mixed bow, rose flower, and heart black resin. That's what this is for 134. Okay. I purchased some tape. Um, I don't know what's in there. We'll look in there in a minute. Oh, here are the other nails that I purchased and uh, some markers. So let's look at the prices on some of these. So these are nails. Again, Timo has cheap ones. You can find a lot of cheap ones on Amazon. And honestly, it, they're probably the same exact thing. These guys are. 348 and they're supposed to be full cover tips and they're supposed to be a short almond um short almonds i don't know if they're that my favorite but i do like that they are connected so that you can see so there you go it's frosted i wouldn't have to do any kind of um roughing up they're pretty thin which is good because then there won't be any kind of like uh uh obvious edge so this is nice i think maybe i'll try these later today so these are almonds the tape is double-sided tape i purchased to have at work i have a bunch at my crafting i have a bunch of crafting and stuff but this one is for work specifically because you know i need so that was 188 it's kind of high price comparatively speaking um but i'm not trying to buy bulk I usually get a lot more for like a dollar twenty-five, a dollar thirty. So this was not worth it on the Timo site, but like I said, when you need it, you have to like bite the bullets and stuff. So we're gonna do that. Then we have some pens. The pens are because I just like pens. They're Kawaii glitter highlighter pen pastel marker for scrapbook, two eighteen. So um, just some like interesting different colors. It says shiny pen, but I don't think that there are there's that there's going to be shine to them. Let's take a quick look. Oops, one's ready to go. Oh, maybe there is. Um, let's just put it over here. Oh, it's a highlighter, but there is a little bit of a little bit of a glittery thing to it. Okay, so probably gonna take these to work and be able to highlight some stuff on the kids' stuff, on my stuff, or things that I put up on the wall. Uh, yeah, I teach. So, oh, these, I needed another set of those um, because I have a manual one and also a chargeable one. And then when we have people come over, so this was way out of, this was way overpriced now that I look at it. Um, 362, probably could have gotten something similar. I don't think the ones in the Dollar Tree though are like this where they have the uh, spring. I think they're more like this kind of thing where you just snap it okay. you know what there you go and so yeah this one is nice it has ventilation inside and you won't have an issue with um i guess mold there's some tape on it to protect the shininess so that's cute anyway there's four inside here so pretty much like a dollar each 
um, just for a better quality, I guess, than what's normally bought at the Dollar Tree. Okay, uh, we've got some other stuff going on here. Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to pull a few things out and then look for them. Maybe not this many things. Uh, okay, that's enough. Let me put the rest over here because this is getting crazy. Alright, so these are... I still dare to hope, believe in yourself, say yes to the, uh, what? I don't want, what the, I don't know. This is like, what the hell is this word? I don't know what the hell that is. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be adventure? I don't know. But it's some words to use, I don't know if they're rub-ons or what they are, because they kind of look like they might be able to be foiled. So, foiling would mean that this is a, um, toner based printout and then you can run it transparent oh they're transparent tech stickers so for 198 so that means that there are if i lift one up you should be able to see through it 198 where'd my pen go okay see just so, the, the cosmos is against me because i can't find my pen now i can't find my pen now let's take a look let's take a look at one of these or what they say so this set is shiny you've got all of them are different which is great and you got some that are longer do better always be on the lookout for the for the presence of wonder um so if you lift this up okay you can see that it is printed on clear oh so just start I, I, I don't know why. I mean, I know why I got these because I want to be able to put it on cards and stuff like that. I don't know why I started to do this because now I'm making a mess. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it is a thin, pretty solid kind of um, thing. Okay. So we got a good selection here. I'm going to put them back in the bag because... I need to go back in the bag. This is my pen. Okay. And for the variety, it's not bad. Okay. And this will go in the crafty area. I get this for the nails. So this is, um, I think it's for baking for fondant. But I thought, you know, when you have that poly gel kind of stuff and you want to make an impression like roll it on there and it'll give this impression onto that hard gel you know that you can roll out and stuff that people have been making designs with so i got that that wasn't too expensive i think it was like a dollar maybe two because it is for fondant 177 um yeah fondant transparent acrylic carving roll okay these are diamond dots as well. They are feathers and they are individual. So they're not part of a painting. They are individual. So there's six of them in there. This was kind of expensive. This was $6.98. But I love feathers. So I took the splurge on that. That's the crafty item. For the nails, we have two sets of nail plates. I like background textures. So those drew me to them. Um, and let's see, a leopard printed one and another one. They're, they're two different numbers. So one of them is 269, no, 236 and 239. One was 98 cents. So 236, that's this one, was 98 and this was a dollar 48. So let's do a little ASMR. In this video here and then uh, we'll take a look at the plates a little bit so we've got that and I'm just gonna you know see is this is this a satisfying pull let's see there we go I really got it for the brick pattern for the most part and I also really liked this pattern here the other ones are cool as well, but they weren't my primary focus. And this guy, so that was the one that was 98 cents. This one is the 148. <clears throat> and again, 
Let's go here. Fine. Nice, 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 nice. Let's show you these. And for this one, I really like this idea of this design, making an, a line down the middle. They're all wood grainy kind of lines and designs. I like this because it gave me spiderweb vibes. And the other favorite here was this one here for some reason. Don't know why. But anyway, so we got two plates. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we got a ring, which probably won't fit me on a finger that I want it to be on because I have large fingers. This is a size 11, and so I, yeah, barely fits there, so that's not going to work. Okay, doesn't fit on my thumb, doesn't fit there. So 11 is my pinky, no bueno, because it does have this. So this double set, I'll show it to you again in a minute. This double set is mm, <laughs> probably not that much. I'm hoping because that's just disappointing that, you know, the rings don't fit. So, you know, it's cute, but that's not going to work there. Um, yeah, it was only $1.85. So worst case scenario, I can wear it, but I don't know how. Well, that's a little bit. Yeah, see, it doesn't fit here either. So, I guess we know I'm not. So people didn't believe me. I'm like, no, I'm. I my fingers are huge, and they always say, no, it's not. I'm like, yes, yes, it is. So, anyway, I'm gonna put this back into a box, a bag, because they are a set. Okay. All right. I can't tell how long we've been together right now. So. Mm -mm -mm. we've got a few things so you know what I think that's halfway through the bag I think we're gonna stop here I'm gonna have to make a part two so yeah it'll be right uploaded right after this one so there'll be two today going up but anyway so if you want to check out what's the rest of my bag and I got a bunch of other crazy goodies then uh, you know what Check out the next one and look for part two. Until then, ciao, ciao. Bye.